back to the Amazing Them channel. I am Brother T. Roy, and today I'm going to get into a routine that, if I'm not mistaken, we did do on the other channel that I was on, and one of my requesters was like, do this one, please, please, uh, even if you did it on the other channel, do it on this one, because this, uh, this channel ain't the other channel, we don't deal with the other channel that much anymore. So I'm like, like, there's a couple of things that I do want to do on, the, would love to do on this channel that wasn't done, on, that was done on the other channel, but I kind of just want to bring fresher stuff in there, and I've done a couple of older ones before, and today I'm going to do one that was done on the other channel too, and this is Bill Burr's Psycho Robots. We all know about those Psycho Robots, so... Let's jump into Bill Burr and see what he got. Oh, before I start, it, people have been clamoring and clamoring for me to do uh, Rodney Carrington Live in the Majestic 2. That one was also done on the other channel, and I'm, I'm just a little apprehensive of doing it. But if I keep getting requests for it, I'll knock all six of those out too. So, that's just the way it is. Here we go, Bill Burr, Psycho Robots. I gotta get my act together, man. I'm really, uh, I'm really at a critical point in my life, you know? I am. I'm, I'm serious. I'm a, I'm a fucking psycho, man. I, I realize this about myself. Like, you know, I'm not married, you know? And I'm really getting to that critical age where, you know, pretty soon I'm just, you know, I gotta pick a street. <laughs> Either I'm gonna get married, you know? Or I'm just gonna be in that creepy old guy hanging out in a bar, you know, red chest hair hanging out. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know what's, uh, what's wrong with me. I just, uh, I, th I think I, I just stayed single too long, man. It's just brutal. This is a critical point when you stay single too long and when your brain switches from, uh, you know, like, yeah, no, don't, don't, don't say that to, eh, hey, fuck it, say it, see what happens. <laughs> Dude, and once you cross that line, just the, the, the evil that just, just opens up, it's just, you know... <laughs> I don't know, you know what, I just find women that just like, uh, I think they're great. I don't want this to come off like, I don't want to come off here like I'm some woman here, because, you know, I know I'm a psycho, but it's just like, I don't know, I just find them to be like relentless. Just every day, they, they just, they just got to come at you. They just wake up, they have an agenda, and so they're like these psycho robots that never run out of batteries, and every day they just keep fucking, just keep <laughs> right? You got to deal with that every single day. Hey, honey, you ready to And you literally, you know? Every day, it's, it's like waves hitting the beach, you know? Every day, just eroding a little more of your life away, you know? Just waking up inch by inch, you know? every day, just... Oh. Oh, you know, with him, he drinks too much. <laughs> Where'd you buy that? That's ugly. Throw it out! <laughs> so one day, you're just hanging out in the middle of a lagoon, just floating there with your baseball cards. You're waving to your friends back on the shore. Don't get me tickets. I still like sports. <laughs> oh, here she comes. Here she comes. Hey, honey, how you doing? <laughs> no, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to learn how to how to pick my battles with my girl. You know, it's what I am. You know, I used to argue all the time. I'm just trying to pick the battles. Some days they they come at you. You just, you just gotta let them go. You just let them go and follow them to whatever dumb shit they want to do. Like, ask hey, me to pick the grab a picnic. You bring the good back and you. <laughs> then other days you just you just gotta get your hand up. You just gotta just create this perimeter or something for them to bounce off. Like, you just, you just send that psycho energy in another direction. <laughs> Buy yourself a couple of hours for freedom before they bounce off something else. Game, they start coming at you. Let's see my parents. They're relentless, they never stop, and there's no reason for them to stop. You know why? Because you can't hit them. That's what it is. Think about that. There's no physical ramifications for being an asshole when you're a woman. Do you know how much of a, how much of a dick I would be if it was socially unacceptable to kick the shit out of me? Dude, I would be trashing everybody I saw. See some big muscle bomb guy, hey, I go to the fucking gym, slap this protein shake out of me, hey, don't fuck yourself, right? But I can't do that, right? Every guy has a line, 
And if I cross the line, I get blasted in the face. Yep. Totally acceptable, right? That's right. Well, with women, there's no line. They can just keep fucking... Just keep coming at you. Dude, they can do stuff worthy of, like, a suplex, and they'll just stand right next to it. They don't have the decency to run away. They'll, like, light your clothes on fire. They're like, ta-da, I did that shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I was so proud of my work, I stuck around to see your reaction. I invited a couple of friends to heckle you as you try to stomp it out with your bare feet. Oh, yeah, they'll, like, key your car, sign their name. Susan did this shit! You're sitting like, now, can I at least put her in a headlock, give her a couple of... <laughs> she just wanted attention. Now, I feel bad for women that you, you never get to feel that. You guys should, should do it to each other, you know, just every once in a while. Just haul off and just blast one of your friends in the face, you know. It's good for you. <laughs> no, I know, yeah, I know, it hurts. You know, you can't feel your nose, your ears are ringing, but I'm telling you, man, it, it clears your head. And it causes you to, like, evaluate yourself. I swear to God, any time I ever got punched in the face, I was always pissed. But at some point during the drive home, I'd always be thinking, like, you know, it's kind of being a dick back there, you know? <laughs> I really think about it, I probably shouldn't have said that last shit, you know? And you, you, you'd, like, make that adjustment. <laughs> that guy's an asshole. I can't believe he's just going to say this kind of... <laughs> Actually, my girl punched me in the head on Valentine's Day a few years ago. Yeah, you want to hear this story? This is a great one. This is how much of a dick I am, that I can actually tell a girl I love her, give her a card, and somehow at the end of the night, she still blasted me in the head, you know? <laughs> I can't even remember what happened. All I know is she said some shit, then I said some stuff, then she said some more stuff, and I said, fuck it, I'm going for big air. I said the last shit, and next thing you know, she just came flying at me, right? Fist balled up, okay? And at first, she was just hitting me all in here, you know, which is acceptable, right? It's a holiday, let's fucking keep it nice, you know? <laughs> let's keep it nice, right? true that's so true women play that vagina card so much and especially the ones who sometimes claim they want equality and feminism they have this feminist kind of attitude but you get them in the right situation they'll play that vagina card like that but um yeah i do remember doing this bit this was a a pretty funny bit i, I liked it um it's not my usual Bill Burr thing, so I don't, I, I'm not sure, but I like this one pretty good, pretty good. He made some um, pretty good points about the whole thing that they always trying to get you to go to this little thing or that little thing that you're not that really interested in, and I'm quite sure you drag her to stuff that she's probably not that interested in either, so it's a 50-50 thing and everything, but you know, that's that's just part of being in a relationship. But if a female, I, I don't condone hitting anyone, but if a female hits you, it's best to just back up and get the heck on out of there because she know you're not going to hit her back. So she's just crying for attention right there, you know, basically is what I think it is. Because if she really wanted to be a adult about it, y'all would sit down and discuss the whole thing. But... Um, the one or two times when a female actually put their hands on me before, I gave them a look like, bitch, you know I'll fuck you up, but of course I'm not going to do it. But I gave them a look like, that'll be the last time you do that. 
Or I'm not going to put myself in a position to where you ever get a chance to do that again. And because I do that the same way with guys. If there's certain guys I know I don't, I don't mess with that much, I always keep them a little bit. I never stand too close to them. I always keep about six inches arm length away just in case something pop off. I can lean into a nice good left hook or elbow to the nose or whatever. Uh, I don't know why I'm talking so violent right now. <laughs> but that's basically what I'm saying is the best way to deal with females who like to try to put their hands on men is to just walk away. But actually, you got to let them know that you're not going to let that go down like that. So that's just the way I feel about people hitting people. You know what I mean? Especially women who know they can't beat the guy putting their hands on a guy that she know that won't hit them. So, because there are some guys out there that will bust your snot locker open for even thinking about raising hands to them. So, these females got to know what kind of guy they're dealing with. Like I said, this was a great routine. I do remember doing this on the other channel, and it was fun. Thanks for the request from the subscriber. Come back and see me on the Amazing Them channel. Remember, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next time on the Amazing Nymph. Take care.